Hi Sagittarius, how are you? I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and also from my new website. If you want to have scouts around on the website, then you will see a white circle here. Click on that and it will take you to the website. If you would like an extended reading, then have a look at the website. There's different of readings for offer, on offer. And welcome if you're a new viewer and if you would like to subscribe then just hit the button down below this video and hit the subscribe button and the bell then it will be saved uh, in your library and you will get notified when new videos are loaded up and when I go live I go live every day and give away free cards and you can also do super chat or super stickers if you have a specific question. I'll give you an answer with three cards and one oracle card. Three tarot or three lenamon and one oracle. And if you would like to become a cyber angel then please join us in the life. And welcome to all my cyber angels. Thank you very much for supporting and coming back and it's really awesome that you do that and it's greatly appreciated you and I and all the other cyber angels make it such a wonderful channel. So I hope to see you in the life again. And remember, make sure that you are subscribed because the old system is coming to an end. And sometimes I think there is a technical mistake. A lot of readers are warning uh, their viewers, make sure you subscribe because uh, they, uh, people are losing uh, subscriptions and viewers are losing their channels. So let's get on with your reading. This is your reading for the 24th of February to the 1st of March 2020. Your first card is the Four of Swords. It is time that you sit down and think about things. Take time out. Do a retreat. Go on a little short break um, and meditate and think about it. Listen to the ideas that come through and make evaluations on these ideas. Write them down. Make a dream book. Anything that comes into your mind, especially when you're sitting quietly, write it down and evaluate at a later date. Underneath this card, we've got the Queen of Cups. Perhaps you might be meeting the Queen of Cups. This could be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. If not, then it could be that you will be taking more, uh, more care of yourself. You'll be nurturing and spoiling yourself by taking time out, for instance. Because the Cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, sexuality and sensuality. Ooh, nice one. Good for you. Oh, we all must take time out from time to time so we can rejuvenate ourselves and en feel energized. In the middle of the week, you have judgment. Judgment means that you might have a second chance at something, but definitely a new beginning. Look, it just looks like the Venus rising of the ashes. Well, if you've been when I've been to the hairdresser, I do feel like Venus rising from the ashes. <laughs> you might feel left out of uh, a circle of friends or family um, or from, uh, from at work, from colleagues. Don't worry, this is short-lived. The universe and the angels have your back, especially with the card lying above it. There is a second chance and a new beginning. Sagittarius, you on Friday you have the perspective card and that is the hanged man and they're using a face of the clock here with without the hands so um, something is being delayed this could be four hours four days four weeks or four months because on the traditional deck the legs have a kink in it, like the, well, you can see here as well, like a shape of a number four. So there could be a, a delay, but it is um, remit, uh, 
um, it's like a mirror in a reflection okay so something is being suspended and this is just like the card the four of swords it is time to take time out it is a spiritual card it's get to know yourself what are your opinions can you be softer can you be harsher how do you um, act with certain decisions or situations what perhaps you can how do I say it? Get a different perspective. There might You might have applied for a job and they said, yes, you are awesome, but da-da-da-da-da, uh, you need this, you need that. Then you could say, okay, and then retreat, regroup, take a deep breath and see whether you can get another uh, perspective because you've had some information and they said, well, think about it and let me know. So perhaps you can give them extra information. Perhaps you can give the people concerned uh, an, more information. Give them another perspective. Give them a, an extra perspective that they didn't ask for, but they are looking for. Have a look in your CV, your curriculum vitae. What are your plus points? What can you offer this firm or this boss that nobody else can? So take time out and that's when you get the ideas and you come to rest. Don't stress about it. Don't worry. You will get there. You will find the answer. The answer is within you because you are unique. Perhaps you've applied for a job that is usually for a man. So why can you be a car engineer or a mechanic? Um, well, because you've got the feminine side to it. You can take you take more care in things, but you're just as fast as a man. That that is an example that I can give you. Okay. Now, what is great about this? is you've got two of the same cards and I didn't realize that when I was putting them out. You've got the nine of pentacles. Wow, you are leaving a difficult, um, a less fortunate face behind and you're going into a new face. You'll get that job so long you know how to sell yourself and so long you can get a different perspective and make that perspective their perspective. So give it to them as if it is their uh, vision and their idea and you'll be inside in no time. And you've got the nine of pentacles from the other deck to confirm the nine of pentacles from the card that lies above. Wow! This is an ending, a new beginning. There you go. You're going to get your second chance for this interview to sell yourself. Now, there's one thing. You could also tell them that you don't, you are not codependent. That's you don't depend on an other mechanic because you know your business. You take your time. You're careful. You cross your teeth. You dot your eyes. You are a woman. You. This is your career and you take care of your career and what comes through your fingers. Wow, you don't need codependency. You're not beholden to anybody, but you are there for others and you will help others to a certain degree. You will not play mother. Make sure that you are career orientated and you've got business vision. And if you have any habits, then break the habits. The same if somebody depends on you and is codependent on you, tell them to seek help. Now, for the on the other deck, you have the Ace of Wands. So it's big, big new beginnings. This could be a hobby, but I think it's more orientated to the work front because he looks like the king of wands and he's got the world in his hands. 
he does not take no for an answer like the queen of pentacles she goes for what she wants and she's creative just like the king king is more logic but he's also creative but not as creative creative as the queen okay you make it happen look at this and underneath this card you've got the wheel of fortune what goes round comes round so be good you'll get it back threefold if you're ugly and bad or negative you'll get it back threefold you are moving up the ladder the same as which um hang on a minute there was a card here Oh, no, I, I thought I did see it. It was, must have been another reading. But the Wheel of Fortune means what goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. But it can mean also the next level. You're going up the next level in a relationship or a promotion at work. You might be moving home. You might be moving businesses. But you'll get there because you've got the Knight of Wands here as well. So if you get received news, take direct action. This also means holiday and also means you might be moving home. Now let's get back to having a look at the reading again. You are being offered time, uh, spiritual time, time out to think about things. You are being uh, judged most probably. Um, that a judgment means a, a, a new a beginning, a second chance. Judgment means that you, people might be looking at you and seeing what you are doing and how you're doing it, okay? Um, but it is the uh, Venus rising from the ashes. You are going to get there. Even if you feel left out, people are still looking at you, okay? The word judgment I take the word judgment and I juggle with words and numbers. It means a second chance. You've got number 22, so it could be a second chance or a new beginning. Definitely a new beginning. Take your time, but don't procrastinate too long. Make, if you have gone for a job uh, interview or if you, uh, you viewed a house, um, then make sure that you take time um, because this is also time that can be delays. It is Merc Mercury retrograde, so don't sign any contracts before the 14th of March. Your wish is coming true. The Nine of Pentacles, I think, is a lot like the Nine of Cups. And um, I do give and take. You're going from a... Um, um, a less fortunate period to a voluptuous, luxurious, a better period in your life. Perhaps if you have had um, difficulties with habits or beholden onto somebody or being manipulated by somebody or then you have dropped that. You are standing in your strength. You are powerful. You are stronger and more powerful than you realize. But Use it wisely, little fire sign, my little Sagittarius. Be sweet-tongued. You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. You are strong. You have so much for you going. You um, go for it. Believe in it. Look, you've got fire here, fire there. You're becoming the king um, from the knight to the king. It's the ace of wands. He's a strong man. Now for the answer of the angels, you've got improving help. And I'm going to read the extended version of this because I don't know all the cards um, out of my head. And here we go. The angels want you to know that the health of a the person you asked about is going to improve. You can request the assistance of Archangel Raphael and your guardian angels to speed along the recovery. This card may also be urging you to make more healthy or helpful choices in your life. Like, 
don't take on somebody else's responsibility. If you are feeling called to detox from harmful foods or substances, you should follow the guidance. Removing unhealthy practices from your life will make you feel vibrant and strong. And that's what came out when I said you're stronger than yourself. You know the strength card. Okay. Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow. Instead of trying to force the river, go with the flow. Be easier, be gentler. That is what I also said. Love yourself a little bit more. Nurture yourself. You don't have to go out and buy clothes. You can go out and have a cup of tea with somebody or at somebody's house. You can be gentling, uh, gentle and nurturing. You can go to the hairdresser. Uh, you can go and join yoga classes. And that is also, every time you go to class, you are taking time out for you. And you're making everybody know you don't feel left out because you will join a new group and you'll get out there and you'll nurture yourself because you love yourself. You will show that to the world. You are the Venus rising from the ashes. Wow. This is one of the most amazing readings. I think it was Virgo as well, or Libra, but they were really brilliant. I hope you enjoyed this, Sagittarius, and please remember, can you give us the thumbs up, and please share with family and friends. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it, and all the other cyber babes as well, because we make, we make the channel. And if you would like to join in making this channel greater and better and joy, even more joyful, then join us in the life. Ciao, ciao, and be blessed.